Today in FactsWise, you're going to be using two-sided counters to see if you can find all the ways to make four, at least with your whole class. So you and a partner are going to get four two-sided counters, and you're going to shake them up, maybe in a cup. And if you're using a cup, you're going to just flip that cup upside down after you've shaken it a little bit, and the four counters are going to land on your table, and then you're going to sort them to see how many red counters you got and how many yellow counters you got. Once you have them sorted, you can write on your whiteboard or a piece of paper if your teacher's given that to you. You can write the equation for the way that you just got four because you started with four counters. So you could say the way, one way to make four counters is three red plus one yellow, and you could write it just like you see on the screen. When you're done with that, let, your, let the other partner shake the four counters in your cup if you have it, or even just in your hand. And if you're using your hand, you're just going to open your hands up and let the the counters drop right onto your desk or onto the floor, wherever you're working. So when that happens this next time, maybe you get this arrangement. Now, if you want, you can reorder them so that the reds are next to each other and the yellows are next to each other. And if you want, you can just leave them like this and kind of notice that what you found was two red and two yellow, and that's another way to make four. So you're going to keep doing this for a few more minutes. Your teacher will let you know when it's time to stop, and then you're going to be sharing with the whole class the different ways that four could happen. And your teacher will probably be writing that on the board or even making a poster so that you can keep looking at these ways to make four later on. So have fun as you're finding all the ways to make four and learn a lot.